hello awesome people welcome back to my journey today i'm going to show you how i normally cook my saga and dodo the kienyeji way enjoy the video remember to like share comment and subscribe thank you i have already prepared the saga and dodo ready for washing so i'll take you through how i normally wash my saga so as to remove the particles in the in the vegetable so i'm washing the so i'm washing them this is how i normally wash remove remove any any sand especially stones that are in between the, the vegetables. So this is how I normally wash them. I give it like three washes. Give it like three washes. look you'll see the stones over here you see the stones piling so you wash like that until you can no longer see any stones yeah basically this is the last wash there's nothing as bad as eating mboga kenyeji and you find yourself chewing chewing sand or chewing small rocks so you can even go up to four times wash depending on how how the vegetables are but as for me i normally wash until the water comes out clear so this is the third wash Let's see. Yeah. As you can see, apart from the few few vegetables left, there's no there's no rocks or sand. So they're not good to do. No. Many people don't normally cut their vegetables. But as for me, I usually cut it, but I don't cut it so small. I cut it medium size. So now our dodo and saga are clean and washed. We are going to simmer it for like uh, 5 minutes on very low heat and we will put very little water because it already has its own water. As you start to boil, the second minute you will see how the it's already, it's, already, it's, already, it's already boiling on its own water. So I will just put a little water. And then we can continue. Remember to keep stirring so that it simmers evenly. If you leave it for so long without turning it, some parts will be brown, others will be green, which will look unsightly. So just keep turning it until all of it is all soaked in its own water. This is already the second minute. As you can see now, it's continuing to boil in its own water as I earlier told you. Keep stirring and then give it another three minutes. Then it will be ready for frying. 
So our vegetables are now ready to be fried. So I'll, I'll take them off the burner. <laughs> 